Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try Night by Pihilis. Found that little fragrance bottle here. Special on the box. The bottle is really heavy. You know, just like the stuff inside the bottle itself seems really thick. Let's pick it on top of the cap. Presentation looks good quality. So let's try the smell. Okay, one thing I need to say, when you spray it, it put perfume on top of the bottle. Like mildly annoying, but still. So I'm picking up a lot of pomelo, a good amount of blood orange. Picking up some woody note, a little bit of geranium. And that's about it. On my skin, in the top note, I was picking up a lot of pomelo, a little bit of blood orange, a little bit of yuzu, and a little bit of woody note. And the fragrance was a really soapy, there was some kind of soap note. In the heart notes, there was a lot of yuzu, good amount of musk, good amount of geranium, a little bit of oak musk, a little bit of woody notes. In the base, it was still soapy. The notes I was picking up, was a good amount of musk, a little bit of oak moss, and a little bit of woody notes. Projection was not really good, was more of a skin scent, and longevity also was not super good. Three to six hours. I mean, it's average, and the fragrance was cheap, so it's not such a big deal. And for the complete note breakdown, top notes are blood orange and pomelo. Heart notes are yuzu, Virginia cedar, and geranium. And the base notes are oak moss, musk. Woody note and amber. Now, where would see this fragrance? Really soupy, really fresh. Don't think it will be a good business fragrance. Might be a little bit seductive in a way. Could work as a seductive fragrance, especially in summer. Wouldn't be the best choice, but it wouldn't be so bad either. In the summer winter spectrum, is definitely a summer fragrance. Would not cut through the cold and it. Seem like it would be hard to overspray in summer. And also summer tend to lower the soapiness and fragrance, so it will probably be better in summer. And as an everyday fragrance, the fragrance is cheap. The fragrance smell soapy, nice, fresh. It's really inoffensive, so it will work well in these points as an everyday fragrance. But it doesn't last the whole day, which is a bad thing. But if you're not afraid to overspray, especially that the bottle is cheap and it looks sturdy enough to be dropped on the floor. But definitely it's kind of fragrance you can reapply. It's 100 ml, it was for like $20, something like that. Such a big deal. So, if you don't mind, that will be a good everyday fragrance. Overall, I'm not really impressed. Perilis is known for some really good fragrance. Those that come in a tube shape with a little bowl on top. I expected something really interesting, but it's something really boring. But again, Perilis, like, overall is known for that other fragrance and not this one. So... It's not surprising that it's bad if no one knows about it. That might be why. I'm gonna say it's bad. It's not super good. It's not crazy. It's nothing to like run to it. It's not like a hidden gem or a hidden cheapy gem or anything. It's just a fragrance that's kind of smell nice. That you could put the one that's next to it and will do the job. Unless you really love the pomelo note. That is relatively unique. Then I don't think it's such a big deal this fragrance. So. Hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, well, like and share. If you try this fragrance, tell me what you think about it. Also, if you're a big fan of pomelo and fragrance, tell me which is your favorite pomelo fragrance. So, thanks for watching and see you soon.